Okay, so let's say you're looking to make a graph in Pages. The first thing to do um, is open Pages, and someone has pointed out, I'm going to actually get rid of this, the beat. Um, so this, let's assume you have your blank document uh, sitting here in front of you, and yes, Pages and Numbers are very linked. Um, you may use either, but the nice thing about Pages is you can insert a chart right in the Pages document, and it will give you like a numbers... Uh, data table to modify the graph. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say I'm typing up the lab report here and I can just select some text here. Um, whoops, I'll do this here. Select, eh, where do I want to go? I want to go up there. I want to go down here. I want to oh, delete. Okay, let's say I have this document that I'm working on and I'm using uh, Let's see, I'm writing my material section, and I have my procedure section, and now let's say it's time to insert a graph. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the plus sign, all right? And uh, there are several things you can put in, pictures, all kinds of stuff, charts if you want. This is also good for inserting your data table. But if you wanted to put the graph in, if I click charts, right now let's just go 2D, and let's say what you wanted to do was insert a bar chart. Let's say that the particular data you're looking for is a bar chart, and you wanted a nice, plain, run-of-the-mill, regular bar chart. Well, it gives you a bar chart with some data already put in the, the chart. You want to make it your own. So what you're going to do is edit the data. And it's going to flip it over. All right. And um, let's say, for example, you want to make some changes here. Instead of region 1, you want to make this um, the year 2000. Oh, so we have years. Let's make it... Um, Apples, let's go um, grapes, and let's go um, figs, okay? So let's say we're looking at maybe the harvest amount in, in tons in a large farm over the course of these four years for these three. be a great bar chart. Um, and let's say we're going to go 45, we're going to go 99, good year for figs, uh, 12, and um, 72, all right. And uh, on the settings here, I'm going to say uh, plot columns as series. And you'll see what I mean when I say that. And I'm going to say done. All right. And um, if you notice, um, what we get is a bar chart that for each of the three fruits, apples, grapes, and figs, um, notice that there are four bars. One for 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012, uh, showing the harvests for each of the years. Okay. From there, I can go up to the paintbrush, and I can go down to chart options on the bottom. I can click chart title as on, and what that's going to do is that's going to provide this title. If I double click that, I can say a harvest in tons, okay, and say done. That could be my, uh, my uh, title for the graph, and you can modify it from there. Uh, you can make this in color, you can make it in 3D, whatever you want. I can also grab the corners and I can resize this to make sure that it fits in my lab. Of course, I have to be careful about my legend up there so that my legend and my uh, title all fits well. You can play around with it, but that's how you put a chart right inside of pages. Okay. Uh, again, I can move this around so I can put it underneath things, center it, whatever you want to do. Okay. By the way, for centering it, you notice that when you hit center, I'm moving around. Uh, you may not see it actually on the screen here, but when you actually hit center, you see that yellow line? That yellow line indicates that the graph is already centered on the page. Okay, So that's a quick tutorial. You can do this with pie charts, bar charts, scatter plots, whatever you want to do, whatever you think is appropriate for the graph. And it's very, very quick. And you modify the data, and you're all set to go. All right? I hope that helps.